The Max Creation Graph is a visual programming environment for authoring custom tools such as object primitives, modifiers, and animation controllers. It's somewhere between a procedural content creation tool and a plug-in development environment, and it's known as MCG. Although MCG is a bit daunting for non-programmers such as myself, it's still very powerful. To use MCG, we need to understand its file formats and folder directories. With 3ds Max 2018, some new sample graphs are available from area.autodesk.com. And I've included those samples in the exercise files for this course. And they're here in the exercise files folder under downloads, MCG 2018 samples. And those are the files. If you don't have the exercise files for the course, you can download these samples from area.autodesk.com. Let's take a look at that. I've got that open in another window. And it's not easy to get to them. You'll need to do a search. And you'll need to search MCG 2018. Don't try searching for Max Creation Graph 2018 because that'll turn up nothing. So search for MCG 2018. And the very first search result is MCG, what's new 2018 and sample pack. And go there and scroll down. And again, it's not really easily accessible. You'll need to go way down to the bottom here. Scroll all the way through all of this stuff until finally you come to MCG 2018 samples, instructions, and download. And just go ahead and download that and put that wherever you need it to be. I'm going to leave this window open because we'll need to come back to this later. So let's now try to understand how MCG files are structured. If we go into those samples, you'll see that there is a folder called packages and a folder called SRC or source. And that should be an indicator that there's kind of a dichotomy between a compiled package, which is something that can be distributed to users and what we find here under SRC, which is the so-called source code. If we go in there, under common, there are a bunch of files labeled .max compound. And if we go into these other ones, we'll see something labeled .max tool. A max tool is the editable graph of a custom tool, such as a modifier. And it's very similar to the source code of a program or script. Now the max tool file almost always depends upon external subgraphs called compounds. And that's what we see here under common. A compound is a separate file and it is also an editable graph, just like a tool, but the compound cannot be executed directly. It needs to be referenced into a dot max tool graph. Think of a compound as a building block for a tool. And that's why here, the compounds are all in a folder labeled common because these max tools refer to the compounds here under common. So a compound can be reused in multiple tools and a compound can also be referenced in other compounds. Therefore, it's very important that we manage and version all of these files very carefully or else we'll end up in dependency hell where a tool loads the wrong version of a compound or the tool can't find the compound at all. Okay, so the package is for end users. It's got a .mcg extension and it's a compiled snapshot of everything required for the custom tool to function. All of the dependent compounds are included in the package. If you wish to distribute a custom MCG tool, you'll need to author it to a package so that users cannot open that package and edit it. The MCG package is analogous to an executable program or plugin. And the MCG packages included with 3ds Max are stored in the program directory, but additional MCG packages that you wish to install or author yourself will need to be placed into a special folder, which is in the current users home directory under Autodesk 3ds Max 2018 Max Creation Graph Packages. And anything that's in this packages folder 
will be loaded into 3ds max when it launches so we can drop something in there now if we want and then when we launch 3ds max that package will be loaded or we can actually have 3ds max do that work for us so i've got 3ds max open already so i'll bring it up and if i go to the scripting menu the first item there is install max creation graph package and i can execute that and I get a dialogue and I can navigate anywhere on the hard drive and here we are at the exercise files downloads MCG packages and I can choose one of these let's do stairs and click install and we get a message saying that validation succeeded and we can click OK and just to verify that if I minimize 3ds max and go back to that folder that we saw a minute ago now it's got stairs.mcg inside it so when we installed the package 3ds max copied it over into this folder and also loaded the package into memory all right let's go back to 3ds max and test it out so that stairs.mcg is actually an object primitive and we can find that from create geometry and in the pull down list now we've got at the very bottom mcg samples and there's only one entry in there because i only installed that one package so i can click on stairs and then click and drag in the viewport and boom i've got some stairs i can go to the modify panel and play around with the parameters of that new primitive so it's a very simple primitive just to illustrate the process all right, cool. So that's how we can install a package, but we can't actually view the graph. We can't edit this. We can't analyze it and learn how it was constructed and we can't manipulate it or change it. If we want to do that, we'll need to install the tools. And for that, there's a wholly different process. So I'm gonna exit out of 3ds Max. And let's go back to that area.autodesk.com page and take a look what it says there. It says here under instructions, if you want to use the packages, then do what we just did. But if you want to actually open up the graphs, there's a completely different process and you don't want to do both because you'll get an error message. So it's an either or, either install the package or install the tools and compounds. And to install the tools in compounds, the best way to do it in this case is to actually add a custom path to the 3ds max.ini file. And that's found in the current user's home directory once again. And you want to add this information into the 3ds max.ini file. So I'm going to select all of this and copy it. Control C. All right. So now I got to navigate to that location. And it's once again going to be in the current user and it's in a hidden folder conveniently enough so let's unhide it go to the view menu here in windows 10 and we want to go to show and hide show the hidden items once we've done that we can see there's a folder labeled app data and then drill down inside app data local autodesk 3ds max version number enu and finally we're at 3ds max.ini so right click on that and edit it opens up in notepad so scroll down to the very bottom and paste in what i just copied out of that autodesk area web page so control v and paste it in but this is not the actual path this is a pseudo path you'll see it says samples equals c path to mcg etc well we need to put in the actual path and that is going to be the location wherever you've unzipped those samples and in my case once again it's in the exercise files so we want to find the source folder and that's here so once i've highlighted that source folder I can easily just copy the entire path. Windows makes it easy to do that. So I can go up here 
in Windows Explorer and right click on that folder name, which is SRC and choose copy address as text. And now that's copied into the clipboard. I can go into my 3dsmax.ini file and replace this path here. So once again, I can use control V to paste that in. I'll need to do it in both of these. So once that's done, I can save 3dsmax.ini. And I need to remember that I installed a package and I need to actually remove that package first because if I have the package and the tools of the same tool installed, then I'll get a duplicate error message. So we need to go in and delete that package that we installed. And that's gonna be found once again under current user, home directory, Autodesk, 3ds Max, Max Creation Graph, Packages. So there's that stairs.mcg that got dropped in there for us. So I'll delete that file. Okay, so I've now set up 3ds Max.ini so it will reference this custom folder where all of the MCG 2018 samples source files are located. And with that done, I can launch 3ds Max once again. Okay, with that 3ds Max.ini file edited, now we can open up any of the sample scenes included with the MCG 2018 samples. Let's do that. Go to File, Open. And we won't find them in our Scenes folder. We need to go up to Downloads, MCG 2018 Samples, Source. And we can choose one of these. Let's try Cell Noise. Go in there. And there's a Max document in there. And it's a sample scene that uses a custom tool. And I click Open. And now... What we're looking at is a plane that's being deformed by a cellular noise. And we have helpful instruction here that says press play. And when we play that, we're seeing a kind of a water effect. All right, cool. So we can select that object, go into the modify panel. And these are the parameters for the custom modifier, which is known as cell noise. And we can play around with those parameters. And we'd be able to do that if we installed the package. Here we've installed the tool in the compounds. And if we installed the package, we would not see this little rollout here that says open in MCG editor. But again, because we're looking at the tool and the compounds, which is the source code, we have the ability to edit that source code. So I'll click on open in MCG editor. And the max creation graph window opens up. And now we have the ability to edit the graph. And editing the graph will be a topic for a later demonstration later on in the course. But at least now we've gotten to the point where we kind of understand how to load something into Max Creation Graph. And later we'll look at how to actually edit it and customize it. So that's the basics of Max Creation Graph in Max 2018.